I told you guys the other day we're going to do double 2A Vagabonds, so today we are doing double 2A Vagabonds. We're going to bring him in with a meme team. We're going to see, maybe we should see how many different meme teams actually work with these guys. Uh, I didn't check his 2A skill ups just yet. We have a couple devil mods. I really don't want to use them for him because on this account, this is on the Europe server account. On this account, we need so many devil mods for so many units. How much HP? He doesn't have that much more HP than he had before. Well, he's a defense-based unit, but uh, he still needs a lot of HP. Uh, this is what he's got on him. I wanted to put him on Triple Revenge. We didn't have enough. I also put Darion on Triple Revenge. So we didn't have enough Triple Revenge for the... It's just damage. Yeah, we... I mean, we don't have him on crit damage or anything. We could just get away with not using him for damage. It's fine. All right, let's take him into some stuff. <laughs> let's do something. I was gonna say let's do something. Whatever. Let's see how he does. So this is just stupid enough to be funny, but also effective enough that this could work even though we don't have a leader skill. So let's uh, let's see. It's fairly uh, fairly meta defense. They're gonna be fast. They're gonna outspeed. They're gonna do some defense breaks, tech H pushback, some more defense breaks. We're just gonna. How did he... Oh, I was like, <laughs> I already forgot what he does. I was like, how did he? <laughs> <laughs> how did he go move next? He's not that fast. Like, wait a second. How slow are the uh, how slow are their opponents? No, don't kill. Cause Darian passive, right? That's how they didn't kill. Fantastic. So now, yeah. Let's take a lot of uh, let's do a lot of provokes, a lot of counters. That's what I want to see. We do. I mean, Darian's stunned though. Although fire howl, the spell attack. That's gonna be nice. Does that actually wind up killing? It does, but now he has an attack power buff. So, but but our team has no uh, has no debuffs. We'll, we'll call that a win. Okay, so now they're gonna start targeting him. So he's gonna keep increasing his attack bar. Fantastic. They got the attack power break. Okay. They got no revenge. <laughs> I mean, Darren only has one revenge. Unfortunately, I wanted more revenge on him. Did enough uh, damage mitigation with the Darian to keep him alive. Okay, double heals. Still alive, not dead. Dead. Okay, Darian's dead. Rip the dream. This is gonna be. This is. This is gonna be uh, more of a struggle now. Darian, it's your spotlight. How'd you die in the first? Because it's a spotlight. That's how he died in the first match. <laughs> He's gonna be much better after this. He only dies because it, it's the typical, typical Summoner's War spotlight scenario. Is. As the first video you do trying to showcase something dies for years. That's just how it's been. Welcome to Summoner's War. So it did. It did fine. We didn't even have to play. We don't have to do anything. It's fantastic. Just bring double hells, double vagabonds. We can also do a um, double. I mean, we could do a double archangel. We could do a double oracle. This one yet again, perfect. I mean, here's the situation though. If Shung Pung does his skill two into a skill three, then we're kind of screwed. Cause then, th then they're going to do enough damage. If they don't have uh no, he does his skill three first. Okay. And he didn't get his skill two. So we don't have any AOE defense break that we don't, ha we don't have to worry about that. Uh, Cause Kaki could do quite a lot of damage with that AOE defense. There's going to be the Kaki damage. All right. Yeah. Kaki's like, Oh, I'm not going to crit on the Juvel. I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. Kaki's not going to crit regardless. Okay, so we should be. How much uh, attack age agree? I'm I am more fascinated by this Jubel than I am with the Darian. Like I know Dar I know what Darian does, but Jubel he increases. I just like things that increase attack age. So this was a fairly. I mean, you Devil's Advocate, you could still outspeed is Tiana. Thirty three Tiana, thirty three speed lead at a Tiana is not very hard to outspeed. They didn't really have that much damage on their. Um, well, they did have the cocky damage, but they didn't have. Uh, a lot of setup for the cocky. Like the Savannah cocky is more dangerous than the, in my opinion, more dangerous than the Shung Pung cocky because Savannah is going to do, she's going to be a bigger threat. I found a lot of these fast, aggressive speed teams. That's really what we're trying to hit with these. We're not trying, I mean, if it wasn't very obvious before, we're not trying to outspeed anything with this defense. So, oh, Savannah didn't even do her, uh, do, it didn't even do her thing. That would have been, I feel like we just got a easy pass. When she doesn't do her thing. Alright, she does it, but there's only two defense breaks she gets. We got a couple of it. Oh! This fire, uh, fire hell is on revenge too. Okay. Oh no, he's gonna do that, and then she's gonna. She's gonna come back. 
She's gonna come back. Don't do that. She's gonna come back with an attack power buff. Now we have to kill her four times now. Good old Beast Riders. Okay, so we're silenced on everything now. That's not good. I mean, ultimately, we would want to take something like Leo into this. Like, Leo's gonna be good here. Juno's gonna be good here. But there is still the damage mitigation from the uh, from the Darien. So, it's one of the things helping, uh, helping keeping Lulu alive. Lulu, for having high resistance, took a l <laughs> awful lot of debuffs from a fire unit. So, that's nice. Or a lot of debuffs in general, especially from a fire unit. I should say. Good old Lulu. Good old... Uh, okay, so she, so she didn't get... Uh, she didn't get all the debuffs, that one. I think I think we'll be okay. As long as, long as something cleanses. I think we'll be okay. Instant death. Instant death. Right here. Oh, wow. We're not okay. <laughs> we're not okay. We're not okay, guys. This is typical summoners where we're not okay. We're completely dead. Okay, so now it's all up to Lulu and Rika. Fantastic. Yup. <laughs> That's what I expected. That's exactly what I expected. Okay, we should, <laughs> we should be fine. I don't know if we're actually going to be fine. We might be fine. She's taking these buffs though. I don't think we're going to win this, guys. Oh, okay. We got lucky. This one is less of a meme team, but still could be fun. We're going to do a lot of turn cycling. There's no cleanse. I mean, aside from Juno cleansing herself, she's very selfish. But aside from that, lots of count. Oh, lots of counters. So many counters. Blade Slaughter. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to crit on that. Very nice. We got the Daydream. Okay. That works. We're still going to take a lot of these. I kind of like the Howls better. Am I crazy? Don't answer that. I kind of do like the Howls better, though. Bye bye, Triton. Okay. Nice. Of course you go, Ray. The one that's going to revenge increase attack gauge. Yeah, there we go. See, this team, this team did perfect. <laughs> we take the two stars out. We put the Nat 5s in. Guys, this team did perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. I thought it was going to do worse with the Nat 5s in instead of the two stars. What do I know? Lols. Fun team, though. Fun team. Next stupid gimmick team, we're going to do double OGs against this is another fairly meta. Uh, it's all based on RNG. Really, all we're doing is hoping that we don't get RNG to death and we're hoping that's <laughs> that's all it is. Oh, you guys have played this game too. You know exactly what it is. So, do we cleanse? No, she doesn't cleanse. She's decided. She's opted against cleansing. Cleansing the stunned units and the defense broken and the glancing hit units. Nice. I'm glad you've <laughs> I'm glad you've opted against that, Annabelle. She's like, no, I know what's best. No, no, yeah, you know what's best. Let's see. She's like, I'm gonna cleanse now. She's lucky she got that vile proc. See, she's lucky she got that vile proc. If she didn't get the vile proc, this would have gone completely differently. It's all RNG. This entire game's all RNG. Eight years of RNG. I'm preaching to the queen. You guys know this. I'm like, hey, all, all that matters, we could take any four units into any four units and just, if, if RNG's on our side, that's all that matters. Four slimes, doesn't matter, as long as RNG's on our side. At the end of the day, we learned basically the same thing as we saw in the other video, is that a double Vagabond Bruiser team can actually be a thing. You just have to pair them up with some support units to make sure that they're cleansed and healed up. Um, we do have to, I'm not sure how I feel about his, his new passive where he takes damage instead. I'm not a huge fan of that, but that's just my that's just mine. But we do have to actually improve his uh, runes and artifacts. His resistance could be better. It's only 49%, so we could definitely work on his resistance since he's going to be taking uh, taking more damage since his uh, his HP is going to keep getting decreased when his allies are hit. But uh, between that, between the HP, between the artifacts needing to be improved, crit damage taken is nice. But we also need damage received from different units uh, or different elements uh, on here. So these aren't necessarily the crit damage taken aside from the crit damage taken. 
these aren't really the greatest artifacts for Darien. Also, like I said, he needs more HP. He needs more resistance. So we just need more efficiency overall on him. He's okay. He's a bruiser team. It's basically the same as it was before. As Like, it, ba it basically functions. The bruiser team, the double Vagabond bruiser, works basically the same as it did before the, uh, before the second awakening. But anyway, that's just my take on it. Anyway, that's it for this one. See you as always in the next one.